the high level frog chart, this covers altitudes of flight level 250 to flight level 630. So higher altitude type operations. What it is good for is finding areas of turbulence, thunderstorm activity, and tropopause heights. Now, thinking back to when we've been talking about the atmosphere and thunderstorm development, why do we care about tropopause heights? If you remember, that really acts like a lid on thunderstorm development. Knowing the tropopause heights can help us know what altitude to fly at to go over top of thunderstorms if it's possible as they develop since it acts kind of like a lid on thunderstorm development. So let's take a look at this chart. Here is our high level prog chart. It is going to be covered extensively in airline training if you end up going to work for an airline. So we're going to spend not a whole lot of time looking at it here. The wind barb information is typically like what you've been seeing. Let me zoom in on this part of the United States and Canada. The green is going to signify the jet stream. The pennants are like before, each one is 50 knots. So by that flight level 320, we have a 100 knot jet stream in that area. We've got areas that are bubbled in and they tell us certain things. And you can read these are almost like plain language. Um, like the one over northern Wisconsin and Minnesota and the upper peninsula of Michigan, it just says isolated embedded cumulonimbus clouds at 380 and XXX just means it's below the chart. The other interesting thing that you can find on here, I mentioned tropopause heights. And so here is a low. So this is the lowest part of the tropopause. It's up at 31,000 feet. And the highest part is they put these little, um, like a baseball plate, home plate looking symbol. High is at 530. Here's another low over the North Atlantic at 290. And we got another higher one way up in northern Canada at 350. So you can see again from this, as we talked about tropopause heights, the high in the polar area is only 35,000 feet. Down there by Florida, it's at 53,000 feet. Remember, the tropopause is thicker at the equator and not as high, thinner over the poles. So if we look at this chart, here's another view. We have South America. They also show areas of turbulence. So one thing to note here, we have an area of turbulence that is enclosed by this yellow area and they indicate that with it's from below the surface of the chart up to 40,000 feet. So that XXX again is below the surface of the chart. Here is turbulence that's of greater intensity. And you can tell it has to do with the curve of this jet stream as it goes through this area. That's going to produce more turbulence as we have the jet stream changing directions in a short period of time. The other interesting thing we can see on this chart is volcanic eruptions and they're just indicated by a little volcan volcanic symbol and you have the name of the volcano that's erupting that you can see on the